right, we've got some new videos just in right here at Third Phase Moon, and also we've heard of some mysterious lights spotted within the sacred valley known as Onomea. We're gonna explore. Join me. This is Third Phase Moon, Blake Cousins. Come on. All right, check it out. A natural cave formation with water flowing through it. This is absolutely amazing. We're gonna get a closer look, but this is where some of the sightings are proclaimed to be of these mysterious lights within the cave itself. Come on. Okay, it looks like we could access the cave. It looks like there's some, uh, there's a wall that will allow us to walk over into the cave, but before we get to that, we've got this video just into third phase of moon. Let me know what you think. Now, this video is coming in from Kazakhstan, submitted by Maxim Trebo, our friend from Russia, that on a continuing basis is submitting videos from around the world. He's a source to go to in regards to these incredible UFOs. Now, let's get to the video that he submitted. Does it look like some kind of possible junk debris coming out of space, a satellite breaking up over the atmosphere, or is this some kind of a meteorite uh, exposing itself over the skies? I'm not exactly sure. I know the people are stunned as they're watching this. They seem to actually cry out like this is some kind of possible missile or projectile coming from the skies. They seem almost threatened and concerned about whatever it is. Uh, Brent, what do you make of this? This is some pretty good footage coming out from uh, Maxim Treba. Yeah, Blake, in this day and age, if I saw something like that, I'd be ducking and covering there. But what I'm thinking we're looking at is basically, yeah, like you said, something that's just dropping in through our atmosphere, coming in from space and having a, a breakup. You see it breaking up as it's going through the clouds. It's popping and basically disintegrating before it hits planet Earth. I'd bet this object probably be the size of probably no, no bigger than a basketball. Imagine if this thing was larger, duh. Some people are uh, concerned about a possible massive asteroid or meteor striking Earth and there goes civilization. Well, this happens all the time. We don't have to be concerned about that. It seems like we have our heads up and awareness in regards to this, but you never know. This is some incredible footage. Brent, you got something to say here. I'm just saying Maxim and his crew out there are doing a fantastic job catching anomalies in the skies. No matter what it is, we want to see it and share it. Thanks. As we approach the entrance of this cave, uh, with a massive stream going through it, we decided this would be the best place to set up to see if we could capture any kind of anomalies that have been uh, reported right here. Like this is what living in Hawaii is all about. This is great location to look for anomalies. I've noticed in recent footage and the past that we see sky fish, rods that could be projected through these caves. Could they be just reflections of light illuminating off some sort of insect in the dark background? Is this what people are seeing? The illuminated bright object coming through these caves, Blake? The sky fish, uh, the rod phenomenon, I'm still on the fence about that. Uh, I think it was debunked being that it could be some kind of shutter effect. You never know though, you never know. Now, take a look at this, more video coming in from Maxim Trebo. We're gonna roll with it.
All right, we uh, have seen this phenomenon quite a bit on the massive media trying to project this as some kind of phenomenon going around the planet right now. Well, this is submitted from Maxim Trebo, and it definitely looks something strange if you look at it at first glance. Brent, do you have any opinions of what we're looking at in this video? Yeah, Blake, we're going to have to talk about the Cornwall incident. And we could see that in most of those videos that you're seeing around the net are basically computer generated. And what they're computer generating are birds into the background of certain places around the world and calling it the Cornwall effect. There's been major YouTube channels that have basically jumped on the bandwagon about this, but Maxim Tree Bo just gave us a proof that basically what we're looking at is a flock of birds. I have to agree there, Brent, but because the world is looking at this and the major media wants to hype up something that isn't true, then people are now starting to look at these flock of birds as unidentified flying objects. In this case, I really do think it is a flock of birds, but hey, we're putting this video out and uh, we want to get your opinions. What do you guys think it is? We have more on location reporting coming in from the Big Island in regards to these mysterious lights and UFO sightings happening right here. Uh, Blake Cousins, if you captured anything amazing out there, we want to see it. Submit it to us right here at Third Phase Moon. Blake Cousins, keep your eyes on the skies. We'll see you again next time. By popular demand, Paul Baird is back with his third album, Third Phase of Moon, The Strangest Things. Third phase of moon. Twelve brand new tracks heard by millions on your favorite channel, Third Phase of Moon. Available on iTunes, Amazon, and music streaming services. Paul Barrett's Third Phase of Moon, The Strangest Things. Available right now. Links are below. Keep your eyes on the skies. We're not alone. 